welcome back to another video. Um, right, it's Saturday evening, so I'm going to attempt to do something, which as far as I'm aware I'm not sure if it's been done or not, um, but I am a massive Peaky Blinders fan, um, for obvious reasons, you've probably heard, I've got a bit of a Birmingham twang, uh, even though I don't live there anymore and I live on the Isle of Wight, I still really love where I've come from and I thought I would do a set of nails especially for Peaky Blinders. So we are going to use some nail products, so I have got Elegance which is a nice gold colour over there, I have got Brisbane Bronze not used either of those two colours yet so it should be quite nice to use them. Metallic white, it is metallic white from now but it was just one of those pots where they were selling off and it didn't have the um, label on. It's quite bright and I'll be using Mayo's crystal clear at some point. Now I have this um, I watched a video yesterday on a YouTube channel called Nailed by Nikki, which I expect a lot of you are subscribed to her. And she cut out some, um, she did a back to school set and she cut out some little um, figures that she'd printed off and put them on nails. So I thought I would give that a go. So I know he's not in this series this year, but I had to have him. Because he's a bit gorgeous, not looking like that, I mean in general life. I'm sure you'll all agree. So we had to have an Alfie. We've got an Arthur. And Tommy on his horse. I had to have a horse in. So as you know, I've got horses. And that iconic pose where if you've watched the series before, before, <laughs> um, where Tommy thinks he's gonna get shot, that is when he stood on the field smoking a cigarette and he shouts very loud so and then I had to have a razor blade it does actually say on there by order of the Peaky Blinders but you can't really see it because it's been squashed down to hardly anything right I hope I've got a plan of action but let's get started
and buffed off camera um, and put some gems on only because this is going to be really quite long otherwise um, but I do it off camera because I, I haven't put tips in properly so I'm holding them while filing them which isn't very nice um, I have used some of the lovely lovely gems that um, Les sent me so they've gone on quite nicely with some of the little tiny Beads, what she sent as well. I am going to top coat in some mega gloss. Okay, zoomed in a little bit for you. Now, when I did this one, I'll show you in a minute. Something went drastically wrong because I'd used the same monomer for my clear. I knew I should have changed it. Look, can you see that tiny, tiny speckle of just on his on his beard, on the side of his beard? But oh well, we live and learn. anybody else watch Peaky Blinders? Or should I say, does anybody else watch Peaky Blinders? I've to I, I know I've still got a, a Birmingham twang, but or a West Midlands twang. Because if I say Birmingham, people from the West Midlands get offended. <laughs> Trust me, it happens. every single episode more than once. I'm a little bit addicted. Not just because of it being set where it's set, even though half of it's filmed on location in Liverpool, but there's also some of it filmed in the Black Country Museum, or the Black Country Living Museum as it's called now. People like to change the names of things all the time. Really loved this episode. What this picture's from. Wow, 
actually cried because I thought he was going to get shot. Sad, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. It's a bit bubbly there. Right. I just probably have to shuck it and I should have rolled it really. My mega gloss is, has got bubbles in it. My, um, obviously I've been on the island for 20 odd years. So, even though I've still got a little bit of a, a twang there, it's not as, as bad as what it was, <laughs> or as good as what it was. Just when I get to top coating time, I get a little bit too excited and put a little bit, little bit too much on there. Don't do this with bare hands. I'm only doing it because I've got gloves on. Right, let me grab my lamp. Yes, so I've lost a bit of my accent, but when I, apparently, so I've just been told before I started doing these, when I talk to my family, my brummy accent comes out even more. So, which, I know it does anyway, but I don't care. I like the way I speak, so that's all that matters. Cool. Well, I'm surprised they turned out okay for a first attempt. Ooh, might help if I'm in shot, mightn't it? I think I think Alfie could have done with being on a lighter background because he's quite quite dark there, isn't he? But the others. I like the horse. I shall take some pictures to leave at the end. I hope you like them. Might even do some for myself at some point. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.